pyramid and we're dealing with its surface area. A problem like this came up on the August and September 2025 SATs, so again, super relevant. And what they're looking for here is they want this height. So we got two shapes down below. Again, the top one's going to be our three-dimensional pyramid with a square base. And down below, you're always going to have to kind of draw this separate triangle that's going to be one of your triangular faces because we need to get the area of one and then we can apply it to all four. So again, we want to solve for this, this height here. And what we can do is in order to solve for the area of one of these faces, well, we need to get the slant height. So not our green height as shown here, but this kind of slant height that's drawn here. Because if we can get that, we can get the area of one of our triangular faces and then multiply that by four. So how we do that is since we know this base is 10 by 10 because our total base area is 100 and it's a square, well, this line right here is just going to be five, right? So if that's five and this vertical length is height, well then this slant height, we can just use Pythagorean's theorem, right? We can say, okay, well, five squared is gonna be 25, height squared is gonna be h squared, and that's going to be equal to our c squared, our slant height. So if I just end up taking the square root of this, that's going to be our slant height, right? This value down here. So this is just gonna be the square root of 25 plus h squared. And then all the only thing else we need to get area of a triangle is our base. And our total base length here, because it's a square base, is just gonna be 10. So all we have to do is 10 times this times 1 half is going to be the area of one of our triangular faces. So again, time one half times 10, that's just gonna get us five. So our total area of one of our triangular faces is going to be five, 25 plus h squared. And then again, we want to apply this singular triangle triangular face to all four, right? There's one in the back, left, right, and center. So if I multiply this by four, what that should get me is my total surface area of all my triangles, which they, they did separate up above. This is going to be the surface area of our base, which is just the square. This is going to be the surface area of our four triangles. So you should get a nice value here. You get the 20 that they have on the outside. And then again, just 25 plus h squared under the square root. So this one should turn out to be pretty clean. We know that the square root of 314 should be equal to the square root of 25 plus h squared. So finally, 25 plus h squared is equal to 314. And if I subtract 25 from both sides, you should end up getting h squared. I'll try to fit it in. I'll just kind of squeeze it in up here. You should get h squared is equal to 289 or your final height is going to be equal to 17.